Hi, Kiana Miner here. Welcome to day 13 of the Happy Highs. So yesterday, I had you move your body in a new and unusual way, in a way that you haven't moved your body before. And the reason I had you do that is because I wanted you to experience greater freedom in your body. When you can experience greater freedom in your body, you start to experience greater freedom in your life, in your world, in your experiences. And that's really what happiness is all about, right? It's expanding our world so that we experience greater freedom in our day-to-day -day lives. You know, the interesting thing about freedom is I believe it was something we were all born with the urge to have. We were all born with it. We innately move toward freedom. We want to experience freedom in our lives. The ironic thing is that in order for freedom to thrive, it requires structure. That's weird, right? How freedom requires structure in order for us to experience it long term. Let me give you an example. So a flower, imagine a flower in full bloom. That flower is not suspended in the air in full bloom, right? That flower is, has connections. It's connected to a stem or leaves. It even goes into the ground and connected to roots in the ground. And it needs that in order to reach its full potential, in order to reach its full bloom. It requires those roots. Well, we are the same way. And in order to experience grander freedoms in our lives, we require structure. Your freedom has to be grounded in structure. We must be grounded in structure in order to reach our full potential. So how do we establish the structure that enables freedom to grow? Well, the answer to that are boundaries. <laughs> that one little magical word is boundaries. We actually absolutely require boundaries in our lives in order to reach our full potential, in order to experience the happiness that we deserve or the freedom that we deserve in our lives. The best way to start to reflect on your boundaries is through your relationships. Your relationships with other people will tell you Everything you need to know about your boundaries. Do you have them? Are they working? <laughs> Are they bringing people into your life and into your experience that you treasure and that support you living as your best self? Or do you find yourself constantly fighting with other people or arguing, explaining your point of view, or getting angry or upset or frustrated in your relationships? Well, I'm going to blow your mind because when you get angry or frustrated at another person, you're not actually angry at another person. You are experiencing the dysfunction of your boundaries. So today, that is what we're going to focus on. So get your journal. You know, I, I, don't, I don't know if I told you yet, but I have uh, composition books I found have been my greatest journals. I, I've gotten the fancy ones, the leather bound journals, but good old composition book and I can write for days. So whatever your journal looks like, get your journal and I want you to reflect on the last argument you had with another person. And think about, are there boundaries that I need in place in my life in order to support my relationships with other people? You know, there are seven billion people in this world and you're not friends with all of them. You're not even acquaintances with all of them. You have a select group of people around you. And the way that we choose those people, whether consciously or unconsciously, is through our boundaries. What are your boundaries? Do you have them? Do you know what they are? <laughs> so for this writing exercise, think about the last argument you got in with another person. Now, I want you to write in your journal. Just recall it. What was it about? What were you upset about? And is there a boundary that you need to establish that will help you clearly navigate a situation like that in the future? Now, just like with all the journaling, don't worry if you get the right answer. It's more important that you ask the right questions than seek to get the right answer. Your life, your experiences will become the answer. So don't worry if you can answer this, but I do want you to ask the question, is there a boundary that could have helped you navigate that argument? a little better. So as you reflect on your boundaries, realize, um, you know, my mentor says this thing that I just think is, is great when it comes to our relationships with other people. She always says that love is conditional. I mean, no, no, I said that wrong. Love is unconditional, 
but relationships aren't. So love is unconditional. You can love people. You can love everyone. However, to have them in your lives, to have them in your space, to interact with them on a regular basis, that does require boundaries. It requires that you're on the same page as far as your deepest values and the things that you that you need from other people. That requires um, that requires boundaries. So reflect on your boundaries. Write them down. Um, I'm going to share just one with you really quickly. Uh, I was in conversation with my daughter's school. She starts school soon, and I was in conversation with her school. And so her school required a certain uh, required her to, to do a certain thing before she could attend. At least that's how it was communicated to me okay. that she has to do this certain thing before she can attend. And so I was speaking to the person on the phone and I said, um, you know, doing this thing is really against our values and it's not something that we're going to do with our daughter. Does this mean she can't attend your school? And then the school said, oh, no, no, of course not. Of course not. We just highly recommend you do this thing. But no, no, it's totally your decision. And so that didn't require an argument. It didn't require a fight. I simply stated what you're asking me to do goes against my boundaries. And we're not willing to do that. What are the consequences? Is this against your boundaries? And then the school said, no, it's not. And so we easily just moved on to another topic of conversation. And it was just that easy. It wasn't a fight. There wasn't an argument. I said very clearly, this is my boundary. And so many times we expect people to respect our boundaries when we don't even know what they are. <laughs> so it's your responsibility to know your boundaries. Write them down and you'll find that as you write them down, you start to embody them in such a way that just on the very, on such a deep and unseen level, people won't step over them anymore. You may not even need to communicate them, but people will start to respond to them because you're embodied in the confidence that this is who I am and this is what I need. So it's okay to need things and I want you to clearly establish your boundaries. The easiest way to do this is to think about the last argument you had and is the, are there boundaries that you need to clearly understand for yourself that will help you navigate that type of argument in the future. So until tomorrow, my lovelies, I will see you later. Bye, happy heisters.